Hello and welcome to the 11th video in this series, Program a JavaScript Chess Engine. Last video we had a, a well look, we started the parsefn function for the reset board and we also put in the reset board function. So this video, I'm just going to scroll everything right to the top because we're going to need some space. We're going to look at passing the pieces or the squares part of this uh, fen string. And this is the most involved part, then when the following video will pass the rest of the information on the string and maybe get around to actually printing the board. For this video it'll just be this part because it takes quite a bit of setup to actually loop through everything correctly. The first thing we need obviously as always are some variables and they look like so. The way we do it of course is we're starting this first section here is the 8th rank as I've already explained then the 7th rank and so on. So the first square we start with is A8 and we work across to H8 and then drop a rank. So what we're going to do is we start on the file A and the rank 8 and we're going to have a while loop which keeps looping whilst rank is greater than or equal to rank 1 and every time we come across a forward slash we will de decrement rank and also if we come across a space we will and this will basically have the effect that the while loop will break out once we hit this space here. The assumption of course in this entire function is that we have at least four sections in our FEN string. If we don't then problems will arise but hey ho. So also FEN count or CNT abbreviated here will be used to point to a particular character in the string. So it'll start off by we'll be using this as an index on the FEN string. So each time we need a character we'll be doing FEN in this manner and then using FEN like this. So it starts off as 0 and each time we process a character it'll be incremented by 1. So the structure of the while loop itself actually looks like this. And the only other variable that's a bit of a mystery here will be this count variable here but you'll see what count is used for at the bottom. Basically what we do is when we finished, if, if we read in either a number or a letter that's a piece or a number of empty squares, then we will set the piece variable accordingly, either empty or to a piece type. And then when we finished processing the character, we'll actually then set the number of board, uh, squares on the board according to what the value of count is to that piece type. So if we found a piece, count will be 1, so we will loop once and set one square at the current file and rank to that piece type. But if we got, say, a 4, we'll loop through 4 times, incrementing file by 1 each time, and set it to an empty piece. You'll see how this works at the bottom, but it means at the beginning of each loop we set count to 1. OK, so the first thing we need to do then is we need, obviously, a switch statement to have a look at what character we're actually looking at. So if this was with the starting position above and we just started then we would be looking at a small r. And now we need a big old case statement to see whether we have a piece letter or a number. And the piece letters should be fairly self-explanatory here. What we then need to do with a number is we need to convert this effectively into an integer from a character to actually um, be able to loop and set the empty squares with empty pieces. Now I've done it, and I'm going to scroll up a tiny bit here now to above the while loop. I've done it by doing it this way. I'm sure in JavaScript there's probably a function which directly um, sets a number character to an integer, but I did it this way without bothering to look up whether there is one. If there is, then I could also have used that, but essentially I just took turn them into to their ASCII character codes and subtract one from the other to get the integer. The next thing we need to do if we haven't got one of those characters is obviously we then hopefully have got an end of rank or a space to indicate the end of the final rank and when we have we decrease rank as I said we set the file back to file A increment the FEN index FEN count and go back around in the while loop. And the idea is, like I said, when we've hit the space at the end of the FEN string, rank will now be less than rank 1 and we'll break out of the while loop. If we've got something else, then we've probably got an FEN error. And I'm just going to put this in here, but I just realized I should have console here, dot log, a bit of old C code. And we'll just return straight away from the function, putting to the console that we've had an FEN error. 
And now, assuming that we haven't continued here, because we haven't gone to the end of a rank or anything, but we did have a piece or a character, now we can, outside the switch loop, make use of our count. And this is how it's done. So, we have, we loop from i equals 0 to i is less than count, plus plus, i plus plus, and then we take the square from the current file and rank, and then we take the we set the board piece at this square to that piece type. So for instance, if we had a 4, we would now do 4 loops, setting from our current file the piece to empty, and then increment our file. So our file only gets incremented inside this loop. If we just had count is 1, because we had a piece, say a bishop, then we would just increment the file by 1. And then once we finish setting the pieces for the amount of squares we need to set the piece on, we then increment FEN count to go to the next character, and the while loop goes all the way back up and carries on here. So the only place in this loop that file actually gets incremented is here and it gets set back to file A here. So that might be a little confusing at first to uh, get the head around but it's actually quite simple but we need some way of nicely dealing with the getting to the end of rank and starting again. And what you should end up with then here is the board piece is either empty at wherever we had the empty squares called or set to the piece types from the appropriate letters. Okay then, so that's it then for this video and in the next video we've got much simpler stuff to do, that's setting up the side, the castle permission and the en passant square if there is one. So thanks very much for listening, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.